Ezekiel 19. Now take up a lamentation for the princes of Israel and say, Oh, how your mother was a lioness, crouching among lions, rearing her cubs among young lions. She raised one of her cubs, and he became a young lion. He learned to tear prey, and he devoured men. So the nations were mustered against him, and he was caught in their pit, and they brought him with hooks to the land of Egypt. She saw herself disillusioned. Her hope was lost. So she took another one of her cubs and made him into a young lion. He roamed among the lions. He became a young lion. He learned to tear prey. He devoured men. He ravaged their widows and their cities. He laid waste. The land and all that fills it then became desolate through the noise of his roar. So all the nations of the surrounding country set themselves against him. They spread their net over him, and he was caught in their pit. They put him in a collar with hooks and brought him to the king of Babylonia. They brought him into fortresses in order that his voice be no longer heard upon the mountains of Israel. You are likened to one whose mother was a vine planted by waters that was fruitful and full branched from the abundant waters. It had strong rods for scepters of sovereigns, and its stature grew high among the tallest branches, and it became visible by its height and by its many tendrils. But then it was uprooted in wrath and cast down to the ground. The east wind withered its fruit, dismembered and withered were its strong rods. Fire devoured it. And now it is planted in the desert, in a parched and thirsty land. And a fire went forth from the rod of its branches and devoured its fruit. It no longer had in it a strong rod, a scepter to rule. It is a lamentation, and it will be a lamentation. Ezekiel 20. It was in the seventh year, in the fifth month, on the tenth of the month, some men of the elders of Israel came to inquire of Hashem, and they sat before me. Then the word of Hashem came to me, saying, Son of man, speak to the elders of Israel and say to them, Thus said the Lord Hashem Elohim, Is it to inquire of me that you come? As I live, I swear that I will not relate to your inquiries. The word of the Lord Hashem Elohim. Won't you rebuke them? Won't you rebuke, son of man? Inform them of the abominations of their fathers. Say to them, Thus said the Lord Hashem Elohim, On the day I chose Israel, I raised my hand in oath for the seed of the house of Jacob and made myself known to them in the land of Egypt. I raised my hand for them, saying, I am Hashem, your God. On that day, I raised my hand for them, swearing to take them out of the land of Egypt to the land that I had sought out for them, a land that flows with milk and honey, a splendor for all the lands. And I said to them, Every man cast away the detestable idols of his eyes. Do not defile yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am Hashem, your God. But they rebelled against me and did not want to listen to me. No man of them cast away the detestable idols of their eyes, and they did not forsake the idols of Egypt. So I had thought to pour out my wrath upon them, to spend my anger on them in the midst of the land of Egypt. But I acted for the sake of my name that it not be desecrated in the eyes of the nations in whose midst they were, before whose eyes I made myself known to them, promising to take them out of the land of Egypt. So I took them out of the land of Egypt and brought them to the wilderness. I gave them my decrees and my laws I made known to them, through which, if a man fulfills them, he will live through them. I also gave them my Sabbaths to be a sign between me and them to know that I am Hashem who sanctifies them. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They did not follow my decrees and they spurned my laws through which, if a man fulfills them, he will live through them. And they desecrated my Sabbaths exceedingly. So I had thought to pour out my wrath upon them in the wilderness to make an end of them. But I acted for the sake of my name, that it should not be desecrated in the eyes of the nations before whose eyes I had taken them out. I also raised my hand in oath against them in the wilderness, 
not to bring them to the land that I had given them, a land that flows with milk and honey, a splendor for all the lands. All this because they spurned my laws and did not follow my decrees, and they desecrated my Sabbath, because their heart kept going after their idols. But my eye pitied them, rather than destroying them, so I did not put an end to them in the wilderness. I said to their children in the wilderness, Do not follow the practices of your fathers, and do not observe their laws, and do not defile yourselves with their idols. I am Hashem your God. Follow my decrees and observe my laws and fulfill them. Sanctify my Sabbaths, and they shall be a sign between me and you, for you to know that I am Hashem your God. But the children rebelled against me. They did not follow my decrees and did not observe my laws to fulfill them. Through which, if a man fulfills them, he will live through them. And they desecrated my Sabbaths. So I spoke to myself to pour out my wrath upon them, to spend my anger on them in the wilderness. But I restrained my hand and acted for the sake of my name, that it will not be desecrated in the eyes of the nations before whose eyes I had taken them out. I also raised up my hand in oath against them in the wilderness, to scatter them among the nations and to disperse them among the lands. Because they did not fulfill my laws, They spurned my decrees, desecrated my Sabbaths, and their eyes went after the idols of their fathers. So I too gave them decrees that were not good and laws by which they could not live. I defiled them through their gifts, through passing every firstborn before Molech, so that I might destroy them, so that they should know that I am Hashem. Therefore, speak to the house of Israel, son of man, and say to them, Thus said the Lord of Hashem Elohim, Your fathers blasphemed me further even with this, when they acted treacherously against me. I had brought them to the land which I had raised up my hand in oath to give to them. And they saw every high hill and every thick branch tree. They slaughtered their sacrifices there and offered their offerings of provocation there. They placed their satisfying aromas there and poured out their libations there. Then I said to them, What is this high place to which only you come? Yet it is called a high place until this day. Therefore say to the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord Hashem Elohim, Do you defile yourselves in the manner of your fathers, and go astray after their abominations? And by giving your gifts, by passing your children through fire, you defile yourselves unto all your idols to this day. Should I relate to your inquiries, O house of Israel, as I live the word of the Lord Hashem Elohim, I swear that I will not relate to your inquiries. As for what enters your minds, it shall not be. As for what you say, we will be like the nations, like the families of the lands, to worship wood and stone. As I live the word of the Lord Hashem Elohim, I swear that I will rule over you with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm and with outpoured wrath. I will take you out from the nations and gather you from the lands to which you were scattered with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm and with outpoured wrath. And I will bring you to the wilderness of the nations and I will contend with you there face to face. Just as I contended with your forefathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I contend with you. I will make you pass under the rod and bring you into the bond of the covenant. I will separate from among you those who rebel and those who transgress against me. I will take them out of the land of their sojourning, but they will not come to the soil of Israel. Then you will know that I am Hashem. And you, O house of Israel, thus said the Lord Hashem Elohim, Let every man go serve his idols, since you do not listen to me. And do not profane my holy name any longer with your gifts and with your idols. But on my holy mountain, on the mountain at the height of Israel, the word of the Lord Hashem Elohim, there the entire house of Israel, all of it, will serve me in the land. There I will accept from them favorably, and there I will seek your tributes and the finest of your offerings, with all your consecrated things. 
Through a satisfying aroma, I will accept you favorably. When I remove you from the peoples and gather you from the lands where you were scattered, and I will be sanctified through you in the eyes of the nations. Then you will know that I am Hashem when I bring you to the soil of Israel, to the land about which I raised my hand in oath to give to your forefathers. And there you will remember your ways and all your deeds by which you became defiled. And you will be disgusted with yourselves for all your evils that you have done. Then you will know that I am Hashem when I act with you for my name's sake and not in accord with your evil ways and your corrupt deeds, O house of Israel. The word of the Lord Hashem Elohim. Ezekiel 21. The word of Hashem came to me, saying, Son of man, direct your face toward the south and proclaim southward. Prophesy against the forest field of the south. Say to the forest field of the south, Hear the word of Hashem. Thus said the Lord Hashem Elohim, Behold, I am igniting a fire within you that will consume within you every fresh tree and every dry tree, an intense flame that will not be extinguished. And every face from south to north will be singed by it. Then all flesh will see that I, Hashem, have kindled it, and it shall not be extinguished. Then I said, Ah, Lord Hashem Elohim, they say about me, Behold, he invents parables. So the word of Hashem came to me, saying, Son of man, direct your face toward Jerusalem and proclaim to the sanctuaries and prophesy against the soil of Israel. Say to the soil of Israel, Thus said Hashem, Behold, I am against you. I will draw my sword from its scabbard, and I will cut off righteous and wicked from among you. Because I have cut off righteous and wicked from among you, therefore my sword will come out of its scabbard against all flesh from south to north. Then all flesh will know that I, Hashem, have drawn my sword from its scabbard. It will never again return. And you, son of man, groan with the shattering of the loins and with bitterness groan before their eyes. And it shall be that when they say to you, for what are you groaning? You shall say, because of the report that is coming, when every heart will melt, all hands will weaken, every spirit will grow faint and all the knees will melt like water. Behold, it is coming. It will happen. The word of the Lord Hashem Elohim. The word of Hashem came to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say. Thus said the Lord, Say, A sword, a sword has been sharpened, and even burnished. That it may make a slaughter has it been sharpened, and that it may have a flash has it been burnished. Can we rejoice? The staff that beats my son scorns every wood. He gave it to be burnished, the better to hold in the hand. It is the sword that has been sharpened and burnished to place in the killer's hand. Cry out and wail, son of man, for it will come against my people, against all the princes of Israel. An assemblage with swords came against my people. Therefore, clap hand against thy for it is testing. What will be if the sword scorns even this rod? Will it not be? It will not be. The word of the Lord Hashem Elohim. And you, son of man, prophesy and pound hand to hand. The third sword will be doubled, the sword of the slain. It is the sword of the great massacre that will penetrate to them. In order to melt heart and increase obstacles, I have brought the dread of the sword to all their gates. Alas, it is ready to flash. It is sheathed for the slaughter. Concentrate yourself to the south. Set yourself to the north. Which way is your face destined? I, too, will pound my hand upon my hand, and I will put my wrath to rest. I, Hashem, have spoken. The word of Hashem came to me, saying, You, son of man, make for yourself two paths on which the king of Babylonia's sword may come. Both should emerge from one land and clear a place, clear it at the crossroad near a city, depict a road for the sword to go to Rabbah of the children of Ammon and to Judah.
to the fortified Jerusalem. For the king of Babylonia stood at the crossroad, at the head of the two roads, to practice divination. He shot arrows, inquired of the teraphim, and looked into the liver. In his right hand, the divination indicated Jerusalem, to set up battering rams, to give the order to murder, to raise the voice with shouting, to set up battering rams at the edges, to pour out a ramp, to build a siege tower. But it was for them a meaningless divination in their eyes. Even though they had cast seven times seven divinations, and all pointed to them, and this recalled their iniquity, that they might be captured. Therefore, thus said the Lord Hashem Elohim, since you cause your iniquity to be recalled, as your sins are revealed, as your transgressions are seen through all your deeds, because you are recalled for your evilness, you will be captured by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. And you, defiled and wicked one, prince of Israel, whose day has come at the time of the final iniquity, thus said the Lord Hashem Elohim, remove the turban, lift off the crown. This will not remain as such. The degraded will be exalted, and the exalted will be degraded. Desolate, desolate will I make Jerusalem. Such a thing had never been until the coming of the executor of judgment, when I will deliver him into his hands. Now, you, son of man, prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord Hashem Elohim concerning the children of Ammon and concerning their scorn. Say, A sword, an open sword, is burnished for slaughter to consume in order to flash. While worthless prophecies are seen for you, while falsehood is divined for you, to place you with the necks of the slain wicked ones whose day has come at the time of the final iniquity. After the sword has been returned to its scabbard in the place where you originated in your native land, I shall punish you. I will pour out my fury upon you. I will fan the fire of my fury against you. I will place you in the hand of brutish men artisans of destruction. You will be given to the fire to consume. Your blood will be swallowed into the midst of the land. You will not be remembered, for I, Hashem, have spoken. Ezekiel 22. The word of Hashem came to me, saying, Now, you, son of man, won't you rebuke? Won't you rebuke the city of bloodshed and inform her of all her abominations? Say, Thus said the Lord Hashem Elohim, A city that sheds blood in her midst, hastening her time of judgment, that fashioned idols within herself for contamination. Through the blood that you shed, you have become guilty. And through your idols that you fashioned, you have become contaminated. Thus, you brought your judgment days near and reached the limit of your years. Therefore, I have made you a mockery to the nation and a disgrace for all the lands. Those near and those far from you will scorn you as contaminated of name, great of confusion. Behold the princes of Israel. Each acted with you for the sake of his own power in order to shed blood. Father and mother have they disparaged within you. Toward the stranger in your midst have they acted oppressively. Orphan and widow have they wronged within you. My sanctities have you scorned, and my Sabbaths have you desecrated. Tale-bearers were among you in order to shed blood. They partook of idolatrous sacrifices upon the mountains within you. They plotted evil schemes in your midst. They uncovered a father's nakedness within you. They coerced women among you during their menstrual impurity. A man would commit abominations against his neighbor's wife. A man would defile his daughter-in-law with licentiousness. A man would coerce his sister, his father's daughter, within you. They took bribery within you in order to shed blood. You took usury and interest and enriched your friends with extorted money. You have forgotten me. The word of the Lord Hashem Elohim. Now, behold... I have pounded my hand because of your robbery that you committed and because of your bloodshed that was in your midst. Will your heart endure? Will your hands be strong in the days when I shall deal with you? I am Hashem. I have spoken and I shall carry it out. 
I will scatter you among the nations and disperse you among the lands, and I will eliminate your contamination from you. You will be caused to tremble before the eyes of the nations. Then you will know that I am Hashem. The word of Hashem came to me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel has become dross to me. They are all copper, tin, iron, and lead in the midst of a smelting furnace. They are the dross of silver. Therefore, thus said the Lord Hashem Elohim, Because you have all become dross, therefore, behold, I am gathering you into the midst of Jerusalem, like the gathering of silver, copper, iron, lead, and tin, into the midst of a smelting furnace, to fan the fire onto it, to melt it down. So will I gather you in my anger and in my wrath, and I will emplace you and melt you down. I will gather you and fan the fire of my fury upon you, and you will be melted down within it, as silver is melted down in the midst of a furnace. So will you be melted down in its midst. Then you will know that I, Hashem, have poured out my wrath upon you. The word of Hashem came to me, saying, Son of man, Say to her, You are a land that has not been cleansed, that has not been rained upon on the day of fury. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in her midst, like a roaring lion that tears its prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken away Jerusalem's treasure and worth. They have increased her widows in her midst. Her priests robbed my Torah and desecrated my sanctities. They did not distinguish between holy and profane. And they did not make known the difference between contaminated and purified. They hid their eyes from my Sabbaths, and I became profaned among them. Her officers within her are like wolves who tear prey, to shed blood, to destroy souls, for the sake of unjust gain. And her prophets smeared plaster for them, for they see worthless visions, and they divine falsehood for them. They say, Thus said the Lord Hashem Elohim, when Hashem did not speak, the people of the land have perpetrated oppression and robbed loot. They have wronged the poor and needy and oppressed the stranger without justice. From among them, I sought a man who could build a fence and stand in the breach before me for the sake of the land, so that it might not be destroyed. But I did not find anyone. So I poured out my wrath over them and consumed them with the flame of my fury. I have placed the consequences of their evil upon their head. The word of the Lord Hashem Elohim.